What's guys back for another video? So in this video, I'm filming on my iPhone 14 now with this cinematic, but I'm figuring it's not working great with the Apple Watch. However, I am gonna take the extra time to process it just to post one, because I pretty much have a lot of older devices like this that I record on, so I won't be doing many videos about them, but when I do, I'm gonna use it, and it worked great on the phone, as you can see, amazing. And the Apple Watch, I don't know, it just kind of blurs the screen in areas, so as you can see. But other than that, this is what this video is going to be filmed in. So if I go to settings, you can still see everything. And you can see the background's got a blur. It's just not, it's not perfect, but it works very great for like when I make iPhone videos and, or dog videos and stuff. Even with the Apple Watch, see how it's blurred at first, but then it kind of clears itself. And the background's really nice and blurred. So yeah. Anyway, in this video, I want to make a video about, as you can see, you now that pine cone's blurred. So I'll leave that there and make it look a little nicer. Um, this video, I want to make a video about my Apple Watch, and it's been a while since I made an update video on, oh, blur the pine cone back out again. See that? That's weird how that works. It's not focused on it, but, um, it's been a while since I made an update video on my Apple Watch, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, I think, what has it been? Let me fire up my phone right here. So I always get phones sitting around, so... I go to my YouTube now. It's like an auto blur. Look, it's blur blurring that event out right there. Okay, let's go to YouTube. It's hard to type looking through the phone screen right here. See, it works really good on phones, though, and pine cones and actual objects, but Apple Watches are just kind of small, but it's working good on it now. Okay, let's check it out. Ugh. Let's see, Apple Watch. I'm gonna find out when the last video was. Oh. Apple Watch on 9.1. Apple Watch I find is the purpose for use. So I basically talked about everything there. It wasn't a horrible long time ago, actually, when I think about it. It is December though, and I made this in September 19th, and it's December, what is it today? December 15th, as you can see. Up there. See, there's a blurring problem on the Apple Watch right there. If I hold it like this, I don't seem to have a problem, though. So, uh, it's catching my hand in there the other way. December 15th. So, that's the date today. Um, and this was on the 19th, so that was like three months ago, four months ago. I don't know. That was a good while ago. So, yeah, there's that. So it's been a good minute since I made one of these videos that I want to. And before that, and that wasn't actually a review, technically. That was a kind of just an, an update. So let's go. Let's keep going. Apple Watch May 2022 update. So that was the last time I actually made one was in May. So I got, I'm due for an update video. So I got my nice light on here, and I want to make a quick video about this. So my ob observing light is what I like to call it. Shows you everything. So since I got the watch, um, there has been some, and I can see I can take these bands light off there. I'll just poke that in. And then the bands slide right off the watch. Kind of a buggy thing. I don't know. That magnets hold that thing in there. See, they slide off. I'm not interested in taking them off right now. I'm just going to make sure they're secure. Wouldn't want this to fall off your arm and get lost. Um, but you'd see the band is still amazing. I've had watches before that would be broken um, in a month. Like those Fitbits. I had a Fitbit and it'd break every month. We had to get a new band. This one, it's holding up. This is, I want to do a quick sound demonstration. So maybe I can use this cup right here. No. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, this phone's a good representing here. So I'm going to take this little watch connector right there, as if you can see it. Right there. That little thing that connects the band to the hole. And simply going to um, hit it on the iPhone screen. Pay attention to that sound. You hear that. Now hear the glass of the Apple Watch. I hope you can hear the difference. I guess that. 
So it's kind of hard to show on this, but if you hit it against glass or anything, this, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's a strong material. Let's get the phone out of the way. It is a very strong material that, that, that this thing is made out of. It's stronger than glass of the Apple Watch itself. So my band is holding up amazing. As you can see, it's, it's got like wear and stuff and it's a little bent, but oh my God, it doesn't matter. There's no um, rips or anything in it. And I've had this for now, it's December. I've September got it on the 25th and it's the 15th. So it's been near, it's been like 300 something days, 360 something days and it's holding up just fine. So I'm very impressed of it. Um, there. So, and I have this nice watch face. It tells me, I can kind of go back and see how many hours ago something was. So I wanna see when I woke up today. I woke up today at 5.45. So 16 hours and 42 minutes, or 40 minutes, 16 hours and 40 minutes ago. Um, so I've been up for 16 hours now. So I kind of like it. I can just easily scroll back on the times and check. Hmm, when was 10 a.m. today? Let's see, 10 a.m. today was 12 hours and 25 minutes ago. So it's kind of just nice to look at. And then you can see when the lightest point of the day will be. So you want to get some pictures then of anything checked out 12, 25 o'clock. Uh, you want to see when the darkest day will, or time will be. Go down to 12, 25. And that's going to be your, I guess, 12, 25 on each. So a.m., or p.m. for when it's lightest and a.m. for when it's darkest. So it kind of just, it's really nice. There's also, there's a bunch of them. You can go in and um, go to your new, go to, there's moons and everything. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of faces. Go check them out. And on the new Apple Watch, there's even newer faces. Now, I, this is the Apple Watch Series 6. It's been a while since I made anything about these. Video, so I wanted to reinform you guys of that. This is an Apple Watch Series Six. Um, work been working great. I want to check out some stuff though on where I'm kind of concerned of. Um, I got this Apple Watch, like I said, about 300 days ago, and after two years, you're supposed to be down to 80. Well, I guess I can take back the being concerned part. I'm not really concerned. I'm just questioning because we're I'm getting near that point, and it is an Apple Watch battery. I don't think that two-year thing applies for it, so actually, I'm not really concerned at all. My battery on this has been amazing. I don't use it much. I don't. It's, it's technically a watch to me. I go through my pictures. I don't have much on it. Um, I use it to just kind of do workouts, and I use it as a watch. I, I use it when I'm in class and stuff a little. When I'm not doing anything, I just go back, look through my pictures. But other than that, I'm there checking the time, which is on my always on display anyway, when it's on my arm. So let me show you that real quick. See, it's just there, and I, if I want to go through this, I do. I use this quite a bit. Let's see. I like that watch face, so I do use it quite a bit. But other than that, um, not much, and my battery does last. A couple times I forgot to charge it, and it died off about one. So you do need to charge it, but it does have a power saving mode and a um, low power mode. So you're set to go here if you need it to last and then yeah you can shut it off too if you need so yeah um other than that i want to check up my battery health now so i'm going to go to my settings battery yeah it's really glitching guys it's not going to work great for apple watches i don't think that cinematic but the pine cone it's been staying blurred here look at it background is blurred on it my hand ain't but the pine cone you can tell it's blurred now fully now when i bring this in it clears that pine cone a bit so see how it's clearing it? Now it's clear completely. It's weird how it works, but I do like this mode. Anyway, let's go to our battery health. 87% battery health on this Apple Watch. So um, it's pretty low. However, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not noticing a difference. As you can see, here's my battery today. Um, so we're looking at yeah, this is really kind of bugging me, actually. Let's just see. Let's do this. That'll work. It's really nice. It's not bugging me. I really like it. I'm going to use it probably to film most of my videos, especially when I'm doing phones or on my MacBook. It's going to work great on them. Apple Watches are just kind of small, and it's getting my hands in there. Oh, let's click that display on. Anyway, so it looks like, and I wasn't using this much today, so keep it in mind. I did go pretty low by about, hmm, 12, 12, 12 p.m. 
about 5 p.m. around there in that area. I did get pretty low on the battery, um, but I wasn't using it since past 3 o'clock, so I didn't even use it. So, pretty nice. I plugged it in so it's going to be charged for this video I'm about to do. Let's take a look at the watch itself. So, looking at the um, screen, you can see them scratches. Now, them stopped. They stopped after I got the watch. They appeared. Let me clean the screen for a second for you guys. The coating on the screen has appeared to have went away since I got it. It used to never get a fingerprint on it, and that was something kind of unique about the Apple Watch to me. It would never. Now I'm getting fingerprints all the time, so I do have to clean it for my videos. But when I do, it looks just clean as new. If I had a shirt, I could use to clean it. Okay, so let's look at the watch. Now that it's cleaner. So you can see the scratches around the display there. They're pretty nice, but I never notice them scratches ever. When the screen's on, I don't notice them. Your Apple Watch is going to get scratched. It's on your arm all day. I've never remembered hitting it on anything. But you're going to get scratches just with time. So other than that, it's great. The back of the watch <clears throat> also needs some cleaning. Let's just look, check that out. Um, but other than that, everything works great. Heart rate, I've been getting data on this for a long time now. The heart rate and everything works great. It is nice to keep it cleaned. It's been a while since I did clean it, so I think I'm going to do that tonight after the video. Because um, it's nice to keep your stuff clean, especially when you're doing workouts and stuff with it. Because it's going to give you more accurate measurements. It's almost like a blur, like a privacy blur. Look at that, it's blurring the words out on there. Um... Look at that, it's crazy. Holy crap. But if you're doing something like uh, outdoor run or, or outdoor, I usually do. Let's just say, let's see, something I've done before indoor. If I go here, it shows you what you've kind of done and what you can open or do. So it's best to keep that back of your watch pretty clean if you do stuff like that. Because simply you just want to... Um, Get those accurate measurements. You want to get them. If you're doing a bike ride outside, you will get stuff like, um, for example, you'll get your heart rate zones. You get that with anything, actually. If I, I could try and open the app on this phone. I don't know. Okay, we're having a problem on the phone. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, see, it works really nice on phones, the blurring. You can see the case is blurred, and I do like it. It's going to be a hassle to... Um, get this video to process. I don't know if it will. So that's going to be scary. But otherwise, I'm just going to stop and you won't see this video. I'm going to have to make it tomorrow. So, um, and I will tell you tomorrow if I do make a video, I'll tell you. Um, it's not important to tell you now, I guess. But I'll tell you if I do. Okay, so let's go to... I, I can't waste time here. It's going to be so long process. Because cinematic videos on iPhone need processing. Okay, what am I doing? Going to... I keep hearing noises. Um, fitness. Come on, focus. Ooh, yeah, this one. Okay. I'm not this slow of a typer, guys. I'm looking through my phone. What? Is it not on here? Oh, I thought they were on all my devices. Just watch. Huh, I guess it isn't. That sucks. But yeah, it'll give you little heart rate zones. That was a new thing with Watch OS 9 and iOS 16. It gives you a little, it's pretty cool. It tells you how long you're in each heart rate and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's very, very nice and clean. You can see it's scanning for heart rate right now with those lights. If I turn off this, you're going to really see them. See how bright? You can see it anywhere. Brighter than it is in real life. And it's not actually flashing in real life. It's a very slow flash. Or very, very fast flash. In the video, it's like flashing strongly. And if I hold it close to the camera, you can see it's glitching the camera out even. And there's not really an actual flash. So, sorry. I should put a stroke warning on there. Oh, there's a big... See, now it's steady. So I don't know what that's doing. But these red ones will appear too when you're doing extra stuff. Um, then will appear. Let's see. It's going to the heart rate. Let's see what happens. It's reading it now. So yeah, like this, like I said, it's good to keep this clean for when it's being read because it will give you an accurate measurement. It's not going to read anything right now, but 
So as you can see through the day, it's given me my full measurements through the whole day. And it works like crazy. I go to sleep. I use my sleep. I uh, go in there. Let's see. It shows me how much sleep I got in my sleep stages. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm awake zero minutes. And it tells me how, how, my, how much I was in these types of sleeps. So that's pretty cool. Three hours, 45 minutes, 59 minutes on deep. Usually you get most core sleep. So that's why that's last 14 days increase. Kind of surprised. I've been getting up early, so that's surprising. See how that, I'm just testing this. You see how that, like, is blurring in the background? It's blurring the watch face, too, which should be fixed. It honestly should. It should be an object centered in the screen. But with phones, I have no worries. It does work. I don't know if there's a need to record cinematic video on YouTube, though. So I don't know if I will. It's going to cause a hassle. I'm going to do a few videos on it. Um, but mainly when I record videos of the dogs or something like that, those are cool cinematic videos. You record people of videos of people or objects like this. That's kind of, kind of stuff that works great. Look at that. Even this, it's it, words that don't work great on. It's more for like people, but like this cone, it works pretty nice on. Um, and you can see if it's in the video and I put something over here, it focuses on the cone too. And then if I got this something like this, focuses it in there easily grab the phone and you can see the the case is blurred with the pine cone blurred into the screen so it's kind of nice but yeah it is nice if i'm filming phone videos like of phones i might just to add it that effect i'll add something in on the side just to give it a little <clears throat> you know decoration been a lot of talking today 16 minutes well that's about it guys um nice apple watch i will make an update on it <clears throat> March. March is going to be my next update date. So that's when I will do it. All right. I do it three months apart because I don't need to do it monthly like I did anymore. Not much has changed. And so remember 87% in De <clears throat> December 15th. And I will do another update on March. March 15th. If this video processes, it'll be 16th if I can't get it to process. And I'm not going to film another YouTube video past 10 minutes in this mode. All right. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.